Hi, it's Brian, your 3D engineer wonder kid. And today we're going to look at the parametric model, and those times when you might have to make flexible last minute changes. Like when a change to your model stands between you and leaving for the airport for a week on the beach, like me. And if you're an engineer, like me, you probably know the parametric model is your friend, your 3D buddy. Design intent, constraints, and dependencies built into the model help guide your design and make changes easier. So, let's say, for example, I'm designing a bolt. Like this one. No, wait, like this one. I know that the head of the bolt and the length need to be proportionate. Like, why wouldn't it be, but sometimes common sense isn't so common. So design intent built into the model automatically adjusts the side of the head I've designed when I change the length of the bolt. Like this. Wow, cool. I also know that the bolt can't be longer than 8 centimeters. So constraints within the model keep me from making the length more than my maximum value. But wait, Brian, what about a more complex model? I don't make screws all day. I make braking systems or um, engines. Well, you're lucky. <laughs> Let's say I'm lucky too, and that instead I'm designing this head gasket that the bolt goes into. Yay, dependencies. Because I've linked these two holes together, when I make a change to one, that change is also made to the other. And what if my model is even more complex, like an entire motorcycle? Wow, Brian, that is cool. Yes, and also pretty complex, because there are 11 billion parts on this bike. But there are also constraints and dependencies, so that each change I make affects other features through a dependency, or is restricted through a design constraint. And boom! That's the power of parametric. And that's also the challenge of parametric. Let's say I'm working on this motorcycle. Almost done. Don't forget about that plan I mentioned earlier, waiting to whisk me away on my vacation. I think the model is just about finished. I'm humming beach tunes and thinking about hammocks. And then my boss calls and says, Hey, Brian, the customer wants something changed. Uh, of course they do. No problem, right? It's not a major change. But remember all those constraints and dependencies? Making one change without impacting a whole bunch of associated features. That's the challenge. And what if the change means a constraint that I built my original design around is no longer valid? What if the customer says that now they actually do want my bolt longer than 8 centimeters? Getting around those constraints and dependencies to make my change without breaking the model can be a real pain. Now let's add another layer to the scenario. Your model is still almost done, and the client still needs the change now, only this time, it's not your model. No, see Jim? The guy that created the model is the one sitting on the beach sipping Mai Tais. <laughs> and maybe while he was on holiday, he's decided that his true calling was to be a surfing instructor, so he's never coming back. Now what? How do you know the design intent of his model? How do you figure out what the dependencies and constraints are in order to make changes? Are you stuck recreating a model while Jim has sand between his toes? Do you ditch the parametric approach altogether, throwing those constraints and dependencies out the window? Nope. The parametric model is still your friend, and that included design intelligence, features, constraints, and parameters, is a key part of the information captured in your final design. What you need is a balance between the power of your parametric model and the need to make efficient, agile changes. In some cases, you need to make direct changes to the model that aren't hampered by design intent, but that don't destroy it either. And just like any other change you make to a parametric model, you want those edits to be captured as parametric features, so that as the model lives on, it's just as intelligent as it was before you started pushing and pulling on it. And you can do just that. Make late-stage design changes, keep track of what you've changed, and stay in control of those changes by capturing them as parametric features, all while protecting your existing design intent. Want the details? Go here to learn more. You might learn a few shortcuts to get you on the beach faster. Until next time.